Whenever you ride a roller coaster, bounce on a trampoline, or fly in an airplane, you feel variations of pressure on your body, also referred to as G-force. Supercross riders are conditioned to handle significant levels of force on their body. The faster they go, the higher they fly, the more G-force they experience. So let's put this in perspective. Me standing here right now is about one G, that's gravity acting on my body. If you jump in a plane upon takeoff, that's about one and a half to two Gs. And if you're in a trampoline, that's three to five Gs. So now let's talk about a supercross rider. We spent the day with Austin Fortner at the Kawasaki Test Track. We're gonna break down one of his laps. So where you see these brown or reddish parts are high G events everywhere on the track. There ends up being between 20 and 25 of them in a typical lap. And these all range from, let's say, five Gs to 10 Gs. We're gonna focus on the area where we saw the highest G-forces for Austin. He exits the whoops, hard right-hander, onto a step-on, step-off. Step-on, step-off was fairly abrupt, where we saw anywhere between eight and 10 G-forces lap after lap. He continues through a triple-triple through the end, and every time he's going through that transition, the bike loads and unloads suspension, and that's where consistently we see the highest G-forces. And when you add those up, those comprise roughly 10% of the lap. It takes a lot of strength and energy. So you don't kind of jar your head, you know? You would just soak it up with your arms and your legs. That's what being on the balls of your feet, on the pegs, letting your ankles rotate and your knees work. You have to hold yourself up with your legs and your arms from just basically collapsing onto the bike. In addition to putting the sensor on Austin's helmet, we also put a sensor on the bike. And we saw five times greater G-forces measured on the bike than we did on Austin's helmet. Because the bike is what's in contact with the track that absorbs all the obstacles. So that's the reason why we make the rim stronger. We run stiffer suspension, bigger diameter suspension, and stiffer clamps. 